Hey everybody, it's me, a friend. This is a new video, and actually this is a different video that I'm going to make. So most of the people ask in what I'm inspired, uh, who is the one, and most of the stuff. I know some people know, but I really want to make a special video about it. So these kind of videos will be uh, in what I'm inspired about the one woman and how I built and it will be four parts, three or four, I really don't know now. But in the first part, I, I will show you how I made the one woman, the first uh, part. The second will be how I transform the one woman and the third or four will be the last one, will be the last update and will be a long process for me. Because it will take one or two years actually to do it. Only two people know what I'm gonna do, but the last part actually will be the last one for the one man. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop playing the one man. This will be the last because I have some breaks to do. So let's start. An important thing that I wanted to say is that most of the things are inspired and not copied. And I know some people will say, oh, but you look very similar actually to that person. Yeah, but that wasn't my idea. In the first try things go wrong i decided to do in that way but now things are going to change extremely you will see here to next year so in what i'm really inspired i'm inspired in anders flanders anders flanders is from sweden actually he lives in liverpool and uh, i know him from a lot of stuff but this is not the video to explain that so i actually saw some videos of him and I really didn't notice. I didn't know, it was really confusing because I didn't know that was him who was playing the old man actually. This is the first videos that I saw from him. Here I'm showing to you some different videos. It's cool, eh? When Anna was a kid, he really liked the Mary Poppins film, the first one actually. And he saw a one woman man. Actually, that one woman man <laughs> was really cool. I saw that film and I. Which it was extremely good, I love it, that film. <laughs> so Arnold saw that when he grew up, he will be the same. Ah uh, yes, he was. Anders told me that he started with a, an accordion and a glockenspiel and then he just had a backpack, it actually was an old hiking backpack. He reused the structure and he put a water tank and a bass pedal. Then he adds a hi-hat and cymbals and some type of keyboard actually. He first half next to the glockenspiel but then he put like a stick keyboard and he has to play the keyboard moving around. So that's actually what I did. I used bought a plastic box from uh, a store and uh, some cheap stuff like bass drum pedal. Um, I also bought a cymbals, um, uh, some Bluetooth speaker and uh, yeah. So it was kind of difficult, you know, because he has an instructor, but I don't have, I just have a plastic box. So it was kind of difficult the first time to how I can put a bass drum pedal in a plastic box. So I just cut some uh, woods and I just uh, screw them into the plastic and then I put the bass drum pedal. For make the plastic box as a backpack, I use some shoes straps, but they hurt my back actually because they are very thin. So I just cut uh, some straps from an actual backpack and I put them. Then I just add a wood stick and I just put the horn and the bike ring and yeah, that was how I did it. So hi-hat stand arrived 
this was very tricky because how you put a metal that is heavy on a plastic box. I tried to put with some wire, it failed, don't tell. <laughs> and then I tried to put some tape and I put a screw, it was, you know, a mess. So actually the plastic box was very fragile when you put a screw with broke, when you put a hole with broke. At this point, I just decided to send a photo to Anders. <laughs> I was kind of nervous, but I assimilate that he was not gonna answer, so I just let him. And like two days after, he saw the message, and I was like, "Oh my god, he saw it!" But he didn't answer, so it was like, "Hmm." And I don't know, like a week later, he answered me, and I was, you know, I was screaming in my house, I was jumping around, I was so excited, and I, I feel like excited right now because I remember that, like, like yesterday. And I was very excited. He actually was very, very good person. I didn't know that he was going to be that proud of me. I just thought that he was going to be like, okay, cool. Do you know what I'm saying? So, but he was very proud of me and that, and that was very good for me because why can't he your parents when you have a plastic box in your back, you know? I also tried to put the Bluetooth uh, speaker down with some wires. It worked. I, I was... All the time when I have the one man on my on my back, I was thinking, please don't fall off. <laughs> I was like that because I was thinking all the time that it was gonna fall off, but it didn't. So at this point, I made my first appearance in the high school. And yes, please do never do this kind of things that I do, and please never show in public. Um, I made my first appearance, and I just catch my one man and drag to school because I want to show people what I was doing. I don't want to to, to play one man actually. And uh, but I don't know. I felt bad actually doing that. And I was really scared that day because teacher, one teacher, actually it's not, was not my teacher actually, but he was doing play, 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 and I was you know I was young. I didn't know that. No, I was stressed, so I play. And I play in the playground, and I remember me surrounded from a lot of people trying to play, and some people was laughing at me, and I didn't care, you know? So I played the song, uh, it was okay. Then I went to the teacher's restroom, and I played another song, here you can see. And yeah, it was very bad. Hi-Hat was doing what I wanted. that plastic box. Actually the songs that I played that day was from this video. And about the Bluetooth speaker, I just removed it because uh, it didn't sound as I wanted, it also was very bad quality. Actually I had a battery speaker and I just put the glockenspiel on the top with some screws. Actually the idea of having a, a plastic box was to save the things inside, so when I finished to play I just save the things inside and I just drag like a box. Because I was gonna make my second appearance in school. In that time, actually it was the, my second year in high school and I was really depressed, I was bullied, I was wherever, you know? But Anders really, uh, Anders really supported me and helped me in my way because he really, I know, I really know that he was understanding me in my way, you know? Getting that depression and all the stuff and I was getting very confident with me. Also it was very funny because sometimes in middle class he sent me a message and I you see, and I was so excited now, and I was screaming in the middle of the class, and they were like, Anders! Anders! I was like, Anders! <laughs> and in that Christmas, actually, I received, I bought actually something for Anders. I will show in another video. But I bought a thing and then he sent me uh, under his head. Uh, it's very funny. And uh, also, 
Y se me son DVDs. You know, then after that I put some microphones in the drums, in the cymbals, so I can have more uh, amp amplification of the things, you know. In my early Christmas I received my new vocal synthesizer and a cheap microphone. Actually, that voice synthesizer, it's very cool because you can make a lot of funny noise and also you can make a lot of new sounds. That's what brings the one woman that cool synthesizer way. Some months pass, and uh, my music teacher uh, told me, "Hey, friend, there's an eco day, ecologic day. Why do you play there with the one woman?" And I was, "Yeah, I can try." And uh, I remember that day, I was really excited, you know, because I was more professional than I was before. And I knew a lot of, I, well, I was getting professional, you know. So, you know, I played there. Here you can see some videos. Okay, here you can see me, and actually the songs that I play, I was from Anders, actually. And you know, at this time I can't really learn songs by myself, because people think that you can learn any song with the one man, that's true, but you need to remake that song, and at this point I really don't know how to remake a song. Now I can, it's very difficult. So as you see me, I have like my phone in the in the stick. So I can play virtual sounds and also sample sounds. And the problem that with the phone is that very small screen, you know, and it's very difficult to play the keyboard that small display. And I was using GarageBand. Actually, GarageBand is a, an app, a free app when you can you can create music, well, music, you can also play virtual pre-recorded instruments that I was play, I was doing that. Uh, woo! <laughs> At this point I had like a structure inside of the plastic box because it was more stable, you know, it was not bouncing around, you know, and uh, well, the plastic box finally break. I was I was like, oh my god, what can I do now? It's break, I don't want to buy a new a new um, plastic box again. So I decided to make my own structure, right? I made it by wood. I paint the structure with gray, gray paint, so it looks like uh, metal, aluminum. I have a water tank, you can see here. And this water tank was actually from my father's job. He has on the garage. This actually is a 15 liters, 15 liter water tank. Okay, and I'm going to explain why 25 and not 15. Actually, Anders have a 25 liters water tank, and when you have a more, a bigger water tank, with some more bass, with some more bigger. And Anders water tank is rigid. That means when he plays a very hard or whatever, finally after time will be broke, and that's what happened to him here. Finally, after a lot of years playing with that rigid tongue, it broke. <laughs> the wear sign that I found on my garage was not rigid, it was very, I mean, you can bend it, you know? The wood structure was actually very good, it was very, very good to my backpack, it was not bouncing around. You know, and uh, here you can see some photos of me putting all the stuff, like the synthesizers and uh, some power buttons to power the mixer because it has USB. At this time, I made my first public appearance. Yes, busking. My first day was really nice. I remember that I was like one hour trying to, because something broke and I was trying to repair it. 
and then I played for half an hour or one hour and a half. I remember that when I fixed the problem, I was playing three songs all the time, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, all the time, because I didn't know any more songs. And if you ask how I power my things in the street, I actually ask my father where I can find a car battery. I don't want to buy new one because it costs like 100 for you know normal car normal car battery. He just called a friend who works in a car repairment things and he found me a battery and I just bought a cheap inverter I just plugged the speaker and yeah, that's how I did I also didn't know that I can make money in the street because I actually was playing for for fun, you know? I, you know, I just wanna play for fun and the things that people was uh, going to me to put the money and I was like, what? I didn't have anything to put in the money so, well I remember me, I, so with that money of that day, I bought my first wireless system that I have over here. Also, I made an appearance in the radio and uh, my, and my accordion teacher, so she told me, why you don't bring your Wombo Mano show? And I was, yes, okay. Here you can see some photos of um, my teacher on the right and the locutor on the left. Remember when I told you that I have a phone with a garage van? Actually, it was very small. And my mother has an iPad. So I was like, hmm. <laughs> the problem of that iPad is that you can't update anymore, you know, because it's not updatable. So I, I was very. I don't know, trying to find an, a version of the GarageBand app to work with the iPad and I found it and when I found it I was wow! <laughs> so I did that and I put on my one man, I made a wood structure for support the iPad and then I just, you know, playing with my iPad. <laughs> At this point, it was between 2018 and 2019, so we're now on probably May of 2019. I made a second appearance in Publique. At this point, my parents didn't let me anymore to basking because I was earning money and they don't like that, so they think uh, at the, in the beginning they thought that being in the street means that you are poor and you need money so my parents think that I was poor and I need money and that was not true so people, people when you, so my parents actually they thought that people saw me like a poor guy that needs money that's, you know, and I, and I never thought that because I, I never thought that because people who is in the street probably you know they want to show the arts or they are getting money for for because it's their job like Anders or I don't know who knows it's their free time you know I was doing because I was having fun okay so the next public appearance that I made was seven months in October actually in Halloween it was in Halloween but not, that's not the video to explain it about because in that seven months I made changes on my one of a man. You will see that on the next video. Woo! But in so in part two we'll see a lot of new things like TV appearance, public appearance, parties, and also new upgrades of the one of a man and a lot of things, you know. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you if you want to support it, please do it in PayPal or Patreon. I really need stuff for make the studio and to make the, the one of man actually. So thanks to all. And yeah, that's all for today. Thank you. And I hope you enjoy it. Out.
Yeah, 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 yeah